God damn. All right, welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. It's your boy Zell. I got my first guest here. I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, my name is Ryder Perfect. You know, I'm over here kicking it with my boy Z. I'm glad he didn't invite me to his show. I just want to thank you first and foremost for having me on. It's going to be my first uh, podcast I've ever been on. You know, first YouTube episode. It's just it's a whole new experience for me. And, you know, you want to have some fun, man. Definitely overdue. I've known this dude since he was like four or five years old. So, you know his history with that shit. So, this shit was overdue. Definitely had to bring him up. We ain't really got a topic. We just gonna really just politic on some man shit. So, the first thing I want to bring up is, did you see the McDonald's shit? Yes, sir. Yeah. What was your thoughts about that situation, man? All right. So, first and foremost, that shit is utter madness. And, uh... And it's not real. Turns out that shit was a skit. What? Yes. See, this new news to me. She does those type of skits and shit, like baby mama sh skits and shit like that. So I just found that out today myself. I just received that information today. So it's like, yeah, you got the uh, collective route up over some bullshit, but that is still a reality for a lot of motherfuckers. So. True. Because she came up with the part two, talking about everybody making me the victim and shit, like... You are the fucking victim. Like, you the one that pulled out the phone. And then you threw the shit on the ground. So that right there put, like, my light bulb in my head on, like, so is this shit real? It got to be fake because I know ain't no chick with, in her right mind going to throw some food on the ground for their kid. But I, cause see, now they all going hungry. That was just. And shit, if it's, if it's not real, dude, how many baby daddy she got? Well, that still ain't. I don't know that that she now that might be her real situation. She might have a couple baby daddies and shit like that. But supposedly that was a skit. Uh, now, to be honest, I can't really confirm. But so supposedly that it was a skit, and she does those kind of uh kind of things. So that's, that's a sick bitch right there, man. Oh yeah, sick bitch off top. Uh, pure niggatry at work. Fuck! I put that ass straight. Right here. Right. Now I put. I had another one. But yeah, that situation was just fucking fried. But my whole thing is this. Even if the shit was real, I don't think that dude was wrong at all. Mm -mm. He wasn't wrong at all. And then, like I said, you got these fucking YouTube niggas on there trying to get their Steve Harvey on, Derrick Jackson on, talking about she did right by kicking and doing all this shit because the man knew what he was getting into. Check this out. You don't know if that man told that shit to... Either plan B or get an abortion. See, that's the part a lot of chicks don't like to talk about. They want to call niggas deadbeats and put the nigga on child support when in the whole scheme of shit, he ain't even want the baby. Now, granted, nigga probably should use a condom, but niggas don't like condoms. It is what it is. Me, I'm Mr. Trojan Man. I don't fuck around. I use skin. That's what's up, son. <laughs> <laughs> the skin. So oh, that motherfuckers, that's what I'm saying. You got, you know, everybody on a different page with that type of shit. Me, I'm, I already know me. I'm 33 years old. My body different. My breathing different. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pulling out no more. It's a wrap. So I'm not trying to have the wrong baby mama out this motherfucker. And like I said, all this bullshit they got going on. Tell me something. They about to take the plan B's away. Yeah, they wilding with that shit. What's the shit they put in they, they uh... Is it the ICU or uh, IUD? IUD. I said that shit wrong on that episode. I think it was my last episode. I said that shit wrong. <laughs> but y'all know what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah, they said they trying to take that shit away. They try to take it all away because, like I said, they low on these numbers because they done knock niggas off with this COVID so much. Now you need them numbers to go back up. Facts. So that's why they trying to make y'all go ahead and get y'all fuck on. Get your fuck on. They don't want niggas getting their fuck on. <laughs> but you can't stop niggas from getting their fuck on. Niggas don't fuck. Niggas exactly. don't fuck some. That's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, back to the situation. Okay, so yeah. First and foremost, I just want to thank my guy for never putting me in no shit like that. See, my guy loved me too much for me to be in some shit like that. Straight up. Uh, secondly, uh, if she already had three kids prior... And you decide to be the fourth baby daddy, you deserve whatever the fuck happened to you. Totally agree with that. You deserve that shit. Uh, yeah, nigga, go ahead and uh, get that uh, deluxe meal or whatever the fuck <laughs> you got to do for them children. Because, nigga, they was there before you even made yours. 
That's true. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I'm you was sympathetic the, to a certain extent. If you was the first baby daddy and then she, you know what I'm saying, she all that shit came after you, then it's like, okay, I definitely understand what you're talking about. Gotcha. Cause yeah, you know what I'm saying? True. Okay, you let all them ni- them worthless niggas nut up in you and shit. I'm sure you got their phone number, their Instagram, Facebook, or something. Call them niggas. Where is them niggas at? What are them niggas doing? That's how that shit be, man. I don't know who started like this little trend or whatever the fuck it is that all right, I'm gonna be a chick that's gonna fuck all these fucked up dudes out here, but then I'm gonna try to run with a dude with a cape. Them niggas with these capes getting tired of that shit. They getting tired of it. Then the, the, the fucking baby daddy crazy and shit, trying to bust at the nigga and shit. All types of wild shit. I tell niggas, it ain't worth it. Yeah, it, 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 it ain't worth it, bro. And shout out to all the females with one fucking kid. You learned your lesson and set the fuck down. That's what happened. Salute to y'all. No disrespect to y'all with multiple baby daddies, but it's like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Are you in it for the, the, the child or the money? Because I honestly don't think y'all be caring about these kids. I used to be, I used to work at Walmart. Most of these motherfuckers, I didn't mean to cut you off. Most oh, yeah, of them don't care about their kids. Mm-hmm. First of all, quarantine exposed that shit. Mm-hmm. When they had motherfuckers locked down with their own kids, y'all was fucking tweaking. Y'all was in the house <laughs> on social media out y'all fucking wits because y'all couldn't pass y'all kids off to a school for eight hours. Or their grandma. And, or their grandma. Like, motherfuckers was literally on there talking about some, man, I don't know what to do with my kids. Like, how you don't know what to do with your own kids? That's what happens. They had to be on a full-time turnover with their kids. Like, ooh, I ain't used to this shit. Motherfuckers don't even know their kids. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They didn't. They don't know what their kids like, don't know what they like to do, or none of that shit. Oh, shit. Motherfuckers was losing their mind on the quarantine, so we done seen what's really going on. See, when y'all y'all want to push y'all kids off on other motherfuckers and shit, and you don't even like your own fucking kids, and you know your kids ain't shit with them them badass kids, and that's your fault. No home training. No home at training. Oh man, you didn't you didn't lay the law down, and now they didn't got a little bit too older and shit. They not scared of you. You know what I'm saying? They don't really respect you because you ain't like, ain't shit parent for real for real. They mm-hmm. you don't spend time with your kids. Mm-hmm. You just. Sit them with an iPad. You sit them outside. You ain't even outside watching them kids. They have all kind of wild ass shit. Talk, talk. You know what I'm saying? I see this shit all the time. Like, okay, come get your motherfucking kids from around my car. (laughs) And these kids getting hit by cars and shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Uh, Like I told y'all before, for all the out of towners, um, you know, whatever. It's a a page called the Cleveland Remembrance page on IG. I'm telling people like. Oh, I heard Cleveland, Ohio, way. man, I'm like, nigga, follow that page, you'll see what the fuck going on out here. These motherfucking people be having their kids outside. I just seen a video of a nigga pull over, and it was a kid running out in his tidy whities covering his face. He talking about some, where your parents at? People try to shit on the nigga, talking about some, instead of recording them, you should have did something. I'm like, yeah, but at the same time, he did stop the car to see what the fuck was going on. Instead of blowing down on the man... Why the fuck y'all ain't got the smoke for the parent? When I looked in the comments, I ain't seen nobody talking shit about the parent. You know y'all what? was dogging a nigga. Because y'all really don't want this shit exposed. That's why y'all keep talking about why you record. Because this some wild shit. <laughs> it got to be seen. Somebody need to see this wild shit. You wouldn't believe it if it was told to you. So you here me? it is. Here's film. I don't know what's going on. Like I, I tell people, if you ain't ready to be no fucking parent, you look, man. Either your pullout game better be on point for the fellas and for the ladies. Eat that shit. Cause at this point they taking that birth control away. Y'all freaking out. This is this is a a a a, a horrible day for women. Like you can get yourself fucking pregnant. It's bad for men too. Stop that bullshit. I don't like that, man. That should be pissing me off. And they keep talking about uh forced pregnancy. Well, listen, nobody forced you to get pregnant. This no. this this is a I guess you could say forced delivery, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You got pregnant. Unless you know, you know what I'm saying, you was in a, a horrible situation where you were, you know what I'm saying, somebody did some some foul shit, some truly disgusting shit. You talking about the word great. Yeah. You know what I'm we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. That shit. But you know, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I also say that shit to females because, like, I don't wanna go too crazy because I, I got a few female friends that I be trying to help out, but they don't fucking listen. So they got mad at me one time when I posted some shit on IG. I'm done giving advice. It's like, talking to a fucking wall. If you ain't gonna listen to what I'm telling you, why are we even talking about it? You going around this friend, especially if you're a decent female and you got a friend that's just a fucking hoe, you need to stay away from them, bro, because they're gonna put you in a situation you ain't ready for. I know a lot of chicks that got babies that weren't supposed to be born because niggas done did some shit to them and they sleep. 
And that was it because they was going off the pill or the perk or whatever y'all be on nowadays. Be careful who you hanging around. Oh, what if, I, what if somebody grapes me? Don't put yourself in a position, a, a, a situation to get great. That shit sounds stupid as fuck. Yeah, but I got, I got, know, you know, you know I got to say it though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put yourself in a you know situation. Shit to be does, here. shit does happen. But you know, it's called prevention. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and accountability you can do is something you can do to uh, prevent certain shit from happening to the best of your abilities. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? The world is an evil place. Ain't shit we can do about that. That's just what the fuck it is until we get up out of here. Stay the fuck out the way and stay prepared. Stay prepared. Stay prepared. I, a lot of women got guns now. Pop these niggas. I yeah. mean, he been popping these niggas. Ain't nothing wrong with that nigga them, uh, going crazy, bitch, off the molly, the perk, whatever the fuck they popping. Pop his ass. Get too aggressive and shit. You know? Get it there. No, means yeah. yes. You just trying to front like you don't want it. You trying to play hard to get. Like, man, you better shoot that nigga dick off. Like, seriously, I'm going to be the last motherfucker to Today. great. Today. You know what I'm, I'm going to shoot that motherfucker off. Today. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Get the nigga out the way. Some of these niggas ain't worth shit. A lot of these niggas ain't worth shit. We ain't going to play crazy. You looking at two niggas without kids, so we move and we seen some shit that made us move a certain way. I'm cool. Like I, everybody asked me, I just got asked the other day, do you want some kids? Shit, maybe, but hey, I'm not even afraid about the kid. I'm afraid about the baby mama. That's the biggest yeah, fucking fear, yeah, to be honest with you. Kid. I can handle the kid. The kid ain't nothing. It's the baby mama. I'm not trying to be tied to no crazy chick. And then the fucked up part is. You don't really meet an individual until you get them pregnant or put a ring on their finger. Then they show you who the fuck they is. So the motherfucker feel they got you. And truth be told, in this system that we living in, yeah, they do they got you. They got you. So I tell Baba them. nuts. Mm-hmm. Chop them off. It's in their hand. They put it in their pocket. In their purse. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it's in so, their purse. Y'all really got to be careful out here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, and that's just on both sides. Let me tell you something about niggas, man. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about the males and the females, mm-hmm. man. We need a whole cultural revamp, man. Like, we at this point where, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers way too gone. You can't tell nobody shit. Everybody think they so uh so uh righteous that they just know what the fuck they doing and you can't give them up. I don't give motherfuckers advice unless you ask for them. Yeah, I Go I, I, ahead I and stop fuck that. your life up today. I don't care. That shit ain't gonna affect me. You know what I'm saying? You wanna go out there and make a thousand babies, why would I give a fuck? Exactly. What you eat don't make me shit. Period. So go do what the fuck you want to do. You strong, independent. Do what you want to do. Just know when you fucking with me, certain shit ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Real talk. That's just what the fuck it is. Real talk. Like, I'm gonna control what I can control. I might can't control your ass, but I can control my shit in mm-hmm. my situation. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna automatically cut some nut ass shit off soon. Just start looking crazy. I don't really have fun with all that crazy shit. This ain't so, baseball. You got one strike. Some like, of you niggas like that nut ass shit. Let's just be man, honest. Man, niggas nigga. like nut shit. Yes, they do like that. These shit. Niggas are messy as these women. Y'all is. Y'all, y'all like my toxic y'all like shit. Getting y'all windows busted and shit like that. And you know what's wrong with you niggas? You know what y'all niggas like to say? Oh man, I'm putting that dick on her, man. She acting crazy, man. Ain't Listen, do, man. Do, do, do no dick, my nigga. You trying to make yourself feel good? Listen, man. No. She just want to do that shit for fun. She's having fun. Mm-hmm. Destroying your shit. And you having fun, too. Because y'all record that shit. You ain't going to uh, press no charges. You ain't going to go, you know what I'm saying, call the police. You, you ain't going to get a female cousin to beat her ass. She ain't going to get shit. nothing. You're going to go to social media and be like, bro, this shit crazy, bro. I can't believe this shit, man. This bit crazy, bro. They look at this shit, man. My PHS 5, man. My, my <laughs> PlayStation, man. She done threw my play. Look at this in pieces. I don't give a fuck. I love that shit. I laugh at y'all niggas. I ain't going to lie to you. I laugh. Me personally, I laugh. That's what the fuck you get. I, I laugh at y'all females too. I ain't gonna lie. That's what the fuck you get. Y'all be knowing niggas ain't shit. You will be around a nigga that do nothing but smoke weed, play the PlayStation, and go hang with the homies and let that nigga get you pregnant and be crying later about my baby daddy ain't shit. Nothing about this nigga said responsible or father. And you knew that shit. You knew it. So why you wanna run? Y'all wanna get your Sierra on. And try to go, all right, let me go find a lame nigga and shit that's going to save me. And then he be stupid and get you pregnant, too. Now you got him by the nuts. And he the only one that's going to be on child support because he the only one that got a job. You Come hate on, to man. see it. Come on, man. You hate to see it. You got to stop that shit. Like I said before, just I'm not the channel that bash women or I'm not pandering to shit either. I'm not putting no thugs on no pedestal. Like when niggas do some fucked up shit, they go to jail, be like, oh, one less nigga. You ain't learned. I don't, I don't get it. I literally seen a chick the other day 
talking to some dude, talking about, do you got J-Pay? I don't know what the fuck J-Pay is. Oh, she trying to uh, FaceTime a nigga in jail. Come on, man. Then they got an app called Talk to a, a Inmate. Why the fuck do you want to talk to an inmate? Man, listen. I'm just saying. I, 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 I'm a person of logic and, like, shit making sense to me. What the fuck is that dude in prison going to do for you? You feel me? Like, literally, I need to know what he's going to do. Like, how fucked up is it that you uh rather give a nigga that's locked up a <laughs> chance than niggas that's outside? That's outside walking. What are you doing? Mental illness. That's what it is. Mental illness. Definitely a mental that Something going on up there. Something you wrong got, with you. You got a fetish for niggas that's locked up and shit, man. Them niggas in there doing all kinds of weird ass shit. You with that madness. Bro. And then you know what's crazy? They get out and be like, yeah, you niggas is gay. No. That nigga that you was fucking with, talk to him. That was locked up for half a century. Is gay. Dumb niggas be getting they back knocked out. Y'all love to throw that gay word like free cheese out this bitch because a motherfucker don't agree with you or say some shit you doing out of pocket. If you gay, you say that. But you talking to one of the gayest niggas on the face of the earth. He in prison. I love when he called me one one eight hundred collect. Are you fucking serious? Wow, That's man. a failure. What are you talking about? You want you like the lowest of the low. That shit excite me to them. It's on wrong, man. I don't need that kind of excitement in my mm -hmm. life, baby. I'm a boring nigga. Honestly. I have my fun, but I have good, decent, clean fun. You want to go have some ratchet shit going on. You want to uh, shoot at each other and uh, chase each other in cars. They like that shit. Hanging on my, uh, on my hood when I'm trying to leave and shit. So you can have something to tell your girls. No. I'm calling the police on you, me. I will do it. I, I, do I, it. I call the police. I will do it. I, I do left it. my thugging alone. My house all red still, so but you know, ask me like with that street activity, and I'm a, I'm a reform gangster. I don't do none of that shit no more, cause ain't no fucking reward in it. I'm not about to be beefing with no nigga over no bitch, no block, no color. I'm not doing none of that shit. Yeah, you true. gotta do something to me personally for me to fuck you up or shoot at you or something. Other than that, hey man, fuck your hood. Hey, nigga, I don't even go down there. Don't give a I don't even like them. No, <laughs> no, I don't even hang with those niggas. I don't no even hang with them niggas. That's that, that's real talk. Like you got a grown ass man. You gotta you gotta do something worse to like trigger me to yeah, you gotta do, do some something. Personal to you. Shit. Like, oh, yeah. you don't fuck about that. No, bring your ass around that nut ass shit. Talking about no hood shit. Some of you niggas is thirty years old, just jumping off the porch and shit. Older than that. Older than you that. You niggas are wild. You niggas 45 years old, just getting down and shit like that. Listen, if you wasn't from nowhere as a teenager, bro, leave that shit alone. Nigga, yeah. Nobody knew you as a teenager, man. You need to go ahead and stay <laughs> your ass wherever you was at. Don't be trying to jump off the porch now. Because see, now it's even worse. Them young niggas going to kill your motherfucking yeah, ass. Yeah, they don't care. You they don't want to go get gunned down by a 16-year-old and shit. You 45 years old, just jumped off the porch and then got killed by well, a 16-year-old. Ain't going to be no argument. They letting that gun talk. That's it. And it's a thing to them. That's a badge on. I gotta catch a body. You gonna be on that nigga mixtape? Don't end up on a nigga mixtape. Or a t-shirt, a hashtag, like man, chill out. You feel me? Them the niggas I look at the craziest when I'm outside. These little young niggas. Hey, what's up with you, nigga? I'll blow your little ass away. Like I no. had them situations where I was at the gas station, man. Young nigga. Oh, the gas station. Young nigga just said something to me, man. Mind you, I had the blicky in my hand in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I got a mask on. It was COVID and shit going on, so I got a mask on. Little nigga don't know, man. I could have go ahead and got you out the way. It's dark as fuck on this street. It ain't no cameras out here. We in the trenches. I could have got you and your little buddy up out the motherfucking way and skirted off. Nobody would have known the motherfucking thing. Luckily for you, I'm merciful. That's what it is. It's unfortunate that's the kind of times we living in. Like, people is fucking insane. And, like, when you talk with some kind of sense, you a bitch, you a hoe, you ain't about that. Like, I tell motherfuckers all the time, you can call me whatever the fuck you want. You can't call me dead, robbed, or locked up. You can call me whatever you want, though. Go ahead. Call me that. I'll be that. Especially on the internet. You niggas that be talking crazy on the internet, you live all the way in fucking Oklahoma or somewhere <laughs> else. Like, bro, like, we not about to beef. I'm not doing none of that internet shit with y'all that be in my comments. Like, what? Because I'm fucking halfway across the country talking about drop the low. Yeah, like. What are you talking what, about? What buddy? the fuck we about to do? Stop listening to rap music. <laughs> Some of you niggas need to just stop listening to Lil Dirt and shit like that. Y'all need to go find and a yeah, new boy, all those niggas. Uh, go man. listen to some Neo Soul or some shit, man. You mm. niggas, you niggas trying to live vicariously through niggas y'all don't know. A lifestyle that you ain't into. And they don't even do it. They selling that shit to you. They don't even do that shit. I'm I'm out the off the block and spin this shit. That nigga in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. You, your retarded ass really you in the hood. the trenches, nigga. Mm -hmm. A nigga gonna give you what you looking for. Mm -hmm. Oh, pray for the city, pray for the parents. Nope. 
No. I'm not praying for you, nigga. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not praying for the bitch that was in the car that got Swiss cheese with the fucking scamming nigga or the nigga that killed 20 niggas. That was for you. You knew what type of nigga you was with. Mm hmm. I tell chicks all the time, I like me a hood nigga. That's fine. And y'all be thinking these niggas so tough. Look, these niggas will use you as a shield when shit get to going down. I done seen this happen. Mm -hmm. Niggas grab this baby mama, use her as a motherfucking shield when the house pulled up. Y'all think these niggas are steppers. These niggas stepping away. <laughs> these niggas is stepping out the way. You feel me? When it go down and he in front of the gun, it's a whole different ball game. Mm -hmm. It look good when you behind that motherfucker. When you in front of it, you see a total different person. I tell chicks all the time, don't tell them the nigga ain't about to pull up on the car at the red light saying, baby, put your head down right quick. I need to get... No. They hitting the car seat, the dog, anything that's in the motherfucking car, all y'all going down. And so, we need to cut this shit out. What do you think that the streets had some type of honor or some shit? Ain't nothing, man. Who what? the fuck started that shit? Like, yeah, you know, uh, stupid women, people, women and children off limits. No, the fuck it ain't. Mm -hmm. Never have been. Plenty of motherfuckers kids that got kidnapped. Plenty of motherfuckers wives and shit that got kidnapped in that shit. Well, like, where did where did that shit come from? Who told you? Y'all niggas was watching Scarface. Yeah, I but, say no kicks, mom. No kicks. Yeah, you niggas was watching Scarface and thought that's how shit really go. It's a movie. See, niggas. Can't handle music and can't handle entertainment. You niggas do everything y'all hear on the record or see on the movie. Dad, yeah. then when your favorite rapper get killed, it stop the violence. What the fuck are you talking about? Ain't this the shit that you like? Yeah, I love when you talking about he got the 30 and about to do a nigga dirty. And then a nigga get done dirty. Oh, that's crazy, man. They kill such and such. And then y'all be calling niggas bitches for shooting. Because he got, because the yeah. nigga you like got shot. But when he was doing the shooting, you like, I told you that nigga's a real stepper, bro. That's why y'all don't like Charleston White. That's why y'all don't like that nigga, because he be giving y'all that dose that y'all y'all ain't ready for. You talking about, what's the one nigga that got killed? Uh, that killed, what's his name? Who, uh, uh, Nipsey? Oh, yeah, Eric Holder. Yeah. They just he beat said, his ass. Yeah, they, 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 they fucked him up. Him but up. he did the gangster shit that y'all talking about. If nigga called him a snitch. He blamed that nigga. He went and blamed him, nigga. Dang. Why y'all saying free him? Charleston, right, right, is right. Like y'all, this nigga is the most gangster nigga that y'all that y'all be rooting for, but y'all don't like him because he killed a rapper you like. I don't get that shit. Would have been different if King Von would have killed the one dude. Hell what, yeah. Would have been different. They be like, man, I told y'all niggas King Von got bodies, man. He been about it. Nigga been in out of jail since so he's a teenager. Uh huh. And no disrespect to the BDs. I'm just making a good point. No you know disrespect to none of these niggas. No disrespect. Dead. No disrespect we just dead. talking like you know logical shit. Would it would have been different if King Von would have killed those niggas? Y'all would have celebrated that shit. Y'all celebrated day, all the other bodies he caught. Y'all love talking about, y'all don't even be knowing these niggas. And you be in a conversation with a nigga, you know, somebody, yeah, nigga, King Von killed at least three, four people. You remember the uh, the one nigga that was talking about Chief Keef and shit? <laughs> like, oh, that was in the car? Yeah, he like, no, Chief Keef ain't this. Chief Keef ain't Shut no the middle. fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Stop talking about fucking nigga. Talking about, and you know what's crazy? Chief Keef put that shit on the intro of a song called Bitches Love Sauce. Yeah. Who the bitch? <laughs> you feel me? No, real talk. It's like he called that nigga a bitch and put him on the intro. Basically, dick riding. Dick, like, dick pulling like a Heavy motherfucking dick man. dick riding, like, like, forever. That shit is on there forever. That shit is there forever. You can't unfuck that. It's a rap. He put that out. You slobbing that man down. Man, all, all, all types of shit. Man. Crazy hell. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Y'all niggas really, we, we not in the world no more. Nobody think for their fucking self. And that's the scary part. And it's just getting worse and worse. These motherfuckers live by memes and shit on Instagram. Y'all niggas don't have your own ideas, your own philosophy of nothing. Y'all just post. Y'all don't even post your own thoughts. <laughs> Y'all just post memes and shit all day of, of the same motivational bullshit. That I'm grinding harder and, and fuck my family. Y'all niggas be talking about fuck y'all family. My family don't got to fuck with me. I, I stick to myself. Maybe you ain't shit. Mm -hmm. A lot of motherfuckers act like your family that's don't fuck with you. why your family don't fuck with you. Why your family don't fuck with you? Like, why we act like that's just some regular shit that nah, your family don't fuck with you? That's my family right. love me. I love my family. I ain't never had to cut off my family. And they and, and that don't mean my family perfect or ain't did no scat shit, but nigga, I ain't never did no shit to wrong. I, I ain't never going over there to talk to them niggas. What? No, I, know that. I got a brother that owe me money right now. I don't hate the nigga, you know what I'm saying? I just keep my distance. Mm -hmm. But if the nigga needs some money, he fucked. I don't know if he watch it, but I'm telling I'm telling you now, bro, like you you know you owe me some money. It ain't it ain't no problems, but I can't help you. Bro, I need a honey or they gonna shoot me in the head. Ooh. That's fucked up you got into that situation. Ooh. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? You like do some DoorDash. You better figure that out. Cause I need my hunt piece, nigga. You, you can't be doing that, man. If a motherfucker help you, I, you don't know what kind of situation I got going on, nigga. I'm one nigga. All, all this shit up in here is me. Car note, rent, phone, you name it. It's all me. I can't call somebody and be like, yo, I need help with that. It's not, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? But people don't actually understand that because they probably never even lived that life yet. It's coming. I'm not knocking motherfucker that's not living like that yet. Like that, you know what I'm saying? That's really like independent on your own self-sufficient. Like it's really me. Yeah, shit real out here. You, you gonna look at it different when a motherfucker asks you to borrow some money. You gonna be like, hey, nigga, what? Give me some money. I don't even lend niggas money. I keep it above with you. I could count on one hand, not even a whole finger. I could count on one finger and a couple cuticles of niggas that I will lend money to. Because mm -hmm. a lot of niggas just, first of all, you ain't got no job. I know you ain't going to pay me back. Or if I know you got a serious type of habit, I know you're not going to pay me back. Even if it's a weed habit, I know you ain't going to pay me back. See, see now we're going to put that shit on quick. We about to get in a different conversation when you start talking about that. Like, it's niggas I had to cut off. I had to, and you know, these are niggas I knew my whole life too, but if you only hit me up when you need some money, that's a problem. Oh yeah. That, that, that is that is a problem. I gotta cut you off. I love you from a distance, but you gotta get your life together and I can't I can't really consider you a friend. I'm not, you look at me as a bank account, not a friend. You know, I don't hear from so, you any other time. I don't hear from and you I got any niggas other who time. Done, I got close friends who don't went, the fell by the wayside, can't get right. I can't fuck with you. Can't. I got. I gotta keep my distance. I'm not giving you no ten dollars till tomorrow. <laughs> that shit is over. That shit. Especially dead. like when you like fifty in the hole. Like all right, the first time I give you twenty, then the next month I give you twenty, then the third month I'm like I got a ten, and then I'm like hold on, where's the first? I'm like hold on, my heart too goddamn big. I I can't get mad at the person. I got. I gotta get mad at me. Yeah. Like nigga, you are an enabler. You got to cut that shit off. Right. That's why very rare when I see motherfuckers outside the store, I might give them change. But every time I see you, I'm not going to give you no money. Remember Starving Marvin? Mm hmm Nigga. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Starving him. Marvin. That motherfucker was a different type of like this was beggar. This old begging nigga. Right I'm here. hungry. I'm hungry. We know you not hungry. I tell a nigga, all right, bro, I'm about to take you to McDonald's and I'm about to get you some... um. Go ahead and get you some double cheeseburgers. I don't want no double cheeseburgers. The audacity, nigga. You hungry, though. All right, let me take you to Happy's. I don't want no piece either. Let me tell you you trying to get hot. Let me tell you about some wild shit a nigga did, man. I guess somebody, it was a crackhead and shit. Young nigga, too. This ain't even an old nigga. This is sad. Y'all. We gonna talk about this in a minute, too, about these young crackheads. Y'all get y'all start younger and younger, bro. We gonna, we gonna get into this in a second. Uh, but yeah, probably about our age, for real. Man, I guess somebody had, you know what I'm saying, hit niggas with the I'm hungry. They brought the niggas some, you know what I'm saying, chicken chicken tenders and fries. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Food, you hungry? Don't you know this nigga trying to sell that shit, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, man. That nigga, that nigga trying to sell me that shit, man. Nigga say, man, I got these chicken tenders and these fries. I oh, said, no. Nigga, see, I've been going on the marathon grab me some chicken tenders and fries. <laughs> you bro. going outside. I'm about to buy that shit from you, boy. And you know, and, and this is what I also want to talk about when it comes to that type of shit. Why are y'all smoking crack in 2022? How do you not learn from everybody else? See, this is what I'm saying. Smart people learn from their own mistakes, but wise motherfuckers learn from others. I don't want to be like that. Especially if we grow up. Like, yo, we'll never be like that, and you turn out like that. What you the fuck it. happened? But see, this ain't even no new drug or no shit. Like, we already know what this do. What it do to you? Some of you niggas think y'all so strong, man. I'm, you know, I'm smoke crack. ain't gonna do nothing to me. Yes, it is. I've seen it happen. I know a nigga personally told me, like, yeah, nigga. Nigga had the nerve to say, I hit some crack. You don't hit crack. No. Nah. Once you hit that, once you uh, smoke that first little, you know what I'm saying? It's over. it's over with. Your life is, you exhaling, you exhaling all your life in that crack smoke. <laughs> you chasing that dragon ain't gonna ever be caught. Period. As soon as you did that, that was it. As soon as you exhaled that shit, that was your whole ambition, life, uh, future in the wind, good buddy. It's like a chick being a porn star. Your first scene will never get deleted. Mm -mm. It's a wrap. I see so many porn stars on the internet begging for love. You ever heard of that chick, Lena Rhodes? She married now, ain't she? No. 
And I done seen some of her scenes. Listen, man. Bad bitch. Bad. Bad bitch. Ooh. I tell females, y'all, especially with y'all with these OnlyFans, it's like the crack. The first time you do that shit, niggas not looking at you the same no more. Your life will never be the same again. You for sure an object now. You fucked up. You fucked up. Was the money that that serious that you could get? You, your pride was that strong. I can't go get a job. So I'm going to bust it open on the internet. There's a lot of ugly bitches with OnlyFans, too. I don't know what's going on. Niggas. We not telling the niggas. truth no more. We need to start telling the truth. Niggas. We telling everybody that they beautiful and shit. See, they don't tell. We don't tell niggas that. Niggas live in reality. We mm -hmm. got to live in reality. Mm -hmm. But we telling a lot of homely women that they look good and they sexy and shit. And you on OnlyFans busting it open for four ninety nine. We need to cut that shit out. We need to stop this yeah, shit. Yeah, OnlyFans is Anybody definitely... Anybody subscribing for that shit. It's definitely... I can't even blame the females with that shit. As right. I start getting older and shit, right. I'm starting to realize it's the niggas. It ain't it's the, the females. Niggas. It's, it's the, the niggas. niggas. It's y'all niggas, bro. If you if you was not buying OnlyFans, it wouldn't be a thing. It would not be a thing. These chicks are so comfortable that they got cash apps and Zales in their bio. So, and you know, these some begging-ass bitches. Real so, talk. Soon as the bitch birthday come around... You go to her stories and shit. You see a couple of uh, birthday celebrations. Then you see the cash app. And then she said, if you feeling generous, I'm not. If I'm feeling generous, I'm going to give me something. That's some bum ass shit. That's really some bum ass shit because. You are no different than a nigga female. outside. Spare change. You are no different. You're digitally begging. Now digital, tell y'all niggas Digital too. panhandling. If it's a chick that work at Walmart and she got 60,000 followers, that is a red flag, my nigga. I'm telling you, man. To how, how, bro, and it, it, you, the way you have to explain to these niggas, if a chick got over like 50,000 followers, she's naked on that bitch. She's naked. You might not see it now, but at one point, she probably flushed her fucking IG. She was, she was butt naked, twerking and doing all types of wild shit. There's no, I don't know too many average females that got that many kind of followers. Unless it, she's just gorgeous. Yeah. Drop dead gorgeous. But even still, they still regular. I know plenty of uh bitch. I was just in the cootie bar not too long ago. I was brought in there. She got fat ass. Nice looking, you know what I'm saying? A little older, but she got about thirty five thousand on, on Instagram. I'm sure it's niggas. How long you been on there? We'll tell it too, because me, I was a late bloom on Instagram. Like I've been on there for a while. I years. got on years. that shit probably in twenty thirteen. Niggas had it since two thousand six, five. I had four. Instagram before there was DMs. See? That's what I'm saying. You had to leave your number on a, a, a thousand eighty nine week old picture, mm -hmm. type shit. That's how long I've been on that motherfucker. So I done seen all I, that I'm, shit. I'm definitely a late bloomer. I still ain't got Snapchat. I had it for forty eight hours. I deleted that shit. Never had Snapchat because I don't be doing shit like that. To be the filters online. tell me this is for women. It is mostly all <laughs> social media. All no, social media for real. Beyond Twitter, it's for, it's women. for women. It's for women. They they dominate that shit and they that's for them. You can't hate on that shit. But if you could, you would. But you can't, so you ain't. That's true. That's true. It is what it is. You can't knock the women for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock them for that shit. I really no, I had a whole different awakening. Like, New Year's is when I awoke from a lot of shit. Because people that see my Instagram, like, man, you be bashing women. I wasn't bashing women. I was bashing hoes. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? I don't even like, be bashing hoes. You no. motherfuckers be over here playing victim. I didn't like the hoes because they was always playing victim and shit. Like, bitch, you a hoe. Like, what are you talking about? Use that shit to your advantage. You hoeing, you better be. No, they looking for love. That's the wild shit. That's what, that's what, that's what lost me at. That's what the wild shit at. You know, so mm -hmm. I started moving a lot different on Instagram. I don't even post shit about women no more. I just watch the show and eat the popcorn. That's what I do and focus on what I'm doing and promote my YouTube and shit like that. Like, with women and all this shit, because I figured, I figured it out. You can't tell them shit. Even if you help them, they don't want to help. So, like I said, it's like talking to a wall. That's why I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of nigga, man, I'm not into like, okay, shout out to the Red Pill and the Manosphere and all that shit. I fuck with them, but I'm not Red Pill. But me personally, I'm not trying to reform women. I'm not trying to change women. I enjoy women. I like the fact that they being who they really is. See, some of you niggas got this fantasy of what women are instead of just taking them for what they is. For what they is, Y'all yeah. got this 1950s fantasy and shit. Let me tell you something, man. Women been hoeing, been cheating, been doing all that shit. It just got because, worse when they It got worse head. because, see, listen, ain't no consequences to shit. Back in the day, man, you could go take your wife to the court steps and whoop her ass. <laughs> they was. They was doing that shit. You go take your wife to the court steps down in, what, North Carolina, I think it was, mm -hmm. and beat her ass on the court steps. You could do shit like that. So, of course, that shit kept women in check. You can't touch these women. You can't really even raise your voice at them all like that no more. 
You're going to jail. So that's you need to just adapt. The only ring you got was around your eye. You didn't get one on your finger. You got a ring around your eye. You know yeah, 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 for right. sure. And you know what? Let's get into that. Cause see, a lot of times I ain't no abuser of women. I ain't never hit no woman because I ain't going through all that nut ass. I got too much I've shit going on. I've been beat up by women. I ain't never beat their ass. Up. I ain't beating a bitch up because I ain't about to deal with no woman. I got to do all that shit with bitch. You crazy? I don't like you enough to be doing that shit. That's for a nigga who loves you to be beating your ass. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to jail over you. I, I, That's I, what I'm I, saying. I love my a nigga that loves you and and you know what I'm saying crazy in love. Mm -hmm. Niggas be crazy in love. Let's just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Love make you do dumb shit. Niggas, yeah, them niggas will beat beat a, beat a woman ass. I'm not about to do that. No shit. problem. Kevin Gates didn't admit it. Thought it was legal to beat your hoe. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that niggas really start going crazy after that. And you know what's crazy? See, women usually have a long relationship with a nigga that whoop their ass. They be beating their ass. Not the whole fucking tooth out of her mouth. You ask a woman like. You know what I'm saying? She gonna tell you she was in a beautiful relationship. You ask her how long she was in that motherfucker, she say six years. Now you ask her how long she was in a relationship with that lame nigga that she just told you about, she was only talking to that nigga for a couple of months. Got that nigga out the way. She got him out the way. They tell these women tell you like, oh yeah, my mouth too uh too strong for a weak nigga and all this, that, and the third. But then be these be the same women telling you about your delivery and how your tone is when you talk to them. You need to be more subtle. Well, y'all don't like that shit, so we not talk gonna... to me how you want to be talked to. But we know y'all ain't logical like that. So, yeah, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, think with y'all feelings. So you can't do that shit. Like, truth be told, like, all this equality shit, that shit is not natural. That shit not nature. You ain't never seen that shit nowhere. Nobody's equal. You're not even equal to yourself. You have a strong hand and a weak hand. You got a strong eye, a weak eye. You know what I'm saying? You're not even equal to yourself. All your body parts aren't even fucking equal. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit just not nature. That's just not, that's just not how this, this life works. It's unreal. It's unreal. And that's why it don't work. Women don't want to be equal to niggas. They want niggas that's stronger than them, taller than them, smarter than them, all that shit. So if you equal to her, you less than her. Basically. That in their mind. Yeah. So that's if you right. buying into that shit, of course you're gonna go outside. If you don't know how to be dominant, you could be dominant without putting your hands on a woman. And without being just some old uh caveman type of nigga that's just you know bitch I mean, you can you could be dominant without all that wild ass shit. It's a fact. You gotta let her know. You just gotta stand on your. Especially principles. if I'm smarter than you. Like, I'm definitely smarter than you. Come on, man. We you know you, you knew I was smarter than you uh, when you started fucking with me, and but that's why you're fucking with me because you want to break me down. You, it's a game to. It's put a challenge to them. It's a challenge, challenge them to challenge, break yeah. a man down, and a lot of these niggas get pushed to that point where they lose their wits and they do go out there and put their hands and on. They gonna them. fuck you up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm the, I'm the fucking man. Right I here. know a lot of niggas who, who come and talk to me and tell me that type of shit. Like, yeah, man. We got into it, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You wanna say I put my hands on her? You lost. You lost right there. You lost. She when broke. You got into a shouting match. You lost. Ain't no point to argue with no female. You lost. Yeah, You're not gonna win ain't, that. Ain't You're doing not gonna that. win that. You're not gonna win that. The Man. best thing, the best uh thing you can do when a woman be doing that shit is ignore. The Me, I got, a, I got, I got, I got a different consequence. I tell you, get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. They hate that shit. Yeah. Get out. That's the best power you niggas gonna have because a lot of you niggas, I'm gonna say this shit too, y'all are used to being enabled. Y'all went from house to house to house to house. Most of these niggas went from your mama house to your girl house. To an, you went, just had another mom. That's what it is. That's what it was. And that speaks to a lot of arrested development that black men have and shit like that. Now, I'm gonna I'm a, get yeah, black men. I'm gonna talk about black men. I give a fuck about everybody else. I mean, shoes, jeans, and hoodies I've seen outside them hallways by the elevator. That mean a nigga living with a bitch. Like, bruh, you have no power at all. Mm -hmm. You got a curfew. You a fucking child. You had to be your ass in this house by 1130. I know a nigga like that, too. What? We was out kicking in the shit, man. Let me tell you this crazy what? shit. What? We went out like, I wasn't even about to go out. I went home. These niggas called me like, no, nah, bruh, it's lit. Come on down, man. It's old <laughs> and shit down here, man. They looking good. I go down to the spot. <laughs> I go down to the spot. Turn out some of my niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's. Hosting this shit, co-hosting type shit. So I'm comfortable now. I'm like, oh, my niggas up in here. I do know these niggas at first. I'm like, I don't know them niggas. I'm not going down there to fuck with that shit. Mm -hmm. But once I see my niggas, I'm like, oh yeah, we in that bitch vibing. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You know what I'm saying? I'm parlaying with the females, man. This nigga, I'm in there for probably about ten minutes, man. This nigga get to trying to get me to take him home. The nigga that told me to come down there. <laughs> now by this time, I'd have had me a couple drinks. So uh, yeah, you got me fucked up. And I, it was downtown. I'm like, oh, oh no. you wanted me to, I drove all the way down here. You think I'm about to leave now? Oh, my nigga, I'm sorry. 
Wow. Hit the Uber, nigga. You better draw somebody. He eventually got a ride from somebody, but I was like, nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. I, that's because he, because I, I put two and two together. That's why you called me down here for it. Oh, to get the ride. To get, get the a ride. ride. Okay. That's why you called me down here. I put that, that together soon. Sense. I said, so I started talking shit about. I'm like, oh, you got a curfew? You gotta go home. Start riding the nigga at that point. Cause you nigga, gotta, you gotta let the nigga you know. You tried right, me. You got now, now you tried me. You tried me. Like, I'm just dumb as fuck. You try to play me like a fool. Like, man. I'm a fool. I'm, yeah, we're going to call him down here, mad shit, and give me a ride. <laughs> Hell no. I'm parlaying. Females feeling me. I got me a little something. Me and my niggas went out. Somebody gave him a ride, but, man, me and my niggas went to the after party. You know what I'm saying? We was kicking it, nigga. I ain't about that nigga, please. You, 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 I don't respect it. I don't appreciate it. I don't know why you tried it. Y'all gotta, you should know me better than that to even do that, that shit. shit. Y'all, y'all can't be keep going to these chicks' house, living under them and all that shit, and then get mad when she get to tripping on you. You can't be like a bitch picture. It Why ain't you your house just because you bought furniture, nigga. It ain't. Your that's, name ain't on that shit. That's a donation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is not your house because you bought furniture and shit. Mm-mm. That's a benefit to her. She about to kick your ass out after you to furnish that whole thing. And keep it. As soon as you got the uh, sectional in there, you got a couple chairs, tables, and shit like that. Your ass is grass. You she don't need you no more. She you don't thought, need you, you no thought more. that was your shit. I ain't never seen a, a, a nigga level a woman up to where she don't need him, and she actually kept that nigga around. That's why when they say this dumb shit like, niggas don't want to level a woman to where she don't need him. Why would I do some shit like that? Mm-mm. Why would I do that? You wouldn't do it for me? You're not going to do it for me. It's not in your nature to do that shit for me. So, and there's nothing. Motherfuckers just don't understand nature. It's not a woman's nature to do that shit. The Bible tells you the shit. I ain't going to get into that, but... The Bible done told motherfuckers, like, man, you ain't supposed to be living off no woman, man. She gonna hate you. She gonna look like you. She gonna lesson. like you for a minute, but then she get to around and get to just, like, linger around you like, this is a bum-ass nigga. He don't do nothing. Especially if you ain't trying. You just sitting there getting high, playing the game, eating it. Especially if she got kids, you eat, drinking all the nigga Capri Suns. All the Juicy this. Juice gone, the goddamn uh, gummy bears Come on, and shit man. gone. What the fuck is you doing? You in there being a big ass child, nigga, of course. And that's why they always talk about they got to raise, nigga. I don't want to date a nigga I got to raise. You I might put you in my income taxes. Like, she kind of got a point. How you feel about that, good buddy? You want to let that happen? I, I just can't do it. I'm not trying to, like, shit on y'all niggas, but I'm re- maybe you need to hear this to get motivated, my nigga. Like, you need your own shit. Stay at best, you should might as well stay at your own mama house. Might as well. Might as well stay at your mama house. Might as well. Straight. Might as well. The fuck is you? I have never lived with a chick in my life. Ever. Ever. Never will. Mm-mm. It ain't gonna happen. Nope. Even if we. What if y'all together? No. No. I'm gonna get tired of you. First of all, mm-hmm. I, I like men. I'm telling you, I love being alone. It, I'm telling you, I can watch some eighty times. But I have, didn't you just watch that yesterday? I don't give a fuck what I watch. I probably missed something. I ain't seen the last time. Don't tell me. You watched that before, then you just hear this song, I'm play this shit out in town. Yeah, now that I was about to say that, because see, I'm liable to play the same song over and over and I like over this all shit. fucking day. Real talk, but you got a motherfucker around you talking about if you just listen to that, when you come to bed, it's on where you going? Don't worry about where the fuck I'm going. I'm it's a respect thing. Come on, that's that cop out for control. That's all that shit be, that's that, that control. That's like a chick talking about some you a broke nigga when she asks you for money. Are you serious? You asking me for You're money. asking me for money. What the fuck does that say Where about you? The self-awareness of people, period, these days is not there. People don't have no self-awareness. I had a nigga tell me, man. A nigga, this nigga do drugs and shit like that, right? This nigga gonna tell me, man, you might need to slow down on that working out shit before it kill you. For real? On me. Nigga say that shit to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you need to slow down on working out. But this nigga's on drugs. And you popping all kinds of shit. You don't even know what you popping. Fentanyl is out here. You still popping pills. You that ain't even prescription. You know what I'm saying? These niggas popping fake perps, all Dying types of shit. All types of shit, dog. Like they man. cutting all that shit with Fetty, and you niggas is still out here popping the bitches. And and then Kodak Black got y'all niggas not even giving a fuck. He said I, I knew it was fake. Man. I still took it. Y'all gotta stop listening to rap music, man. Think for you niggas, yourself. You niggas can't handle rap music. Some of you niggas, a lot of most of you niggas can't handle rap music. I listen to the most violent fucking music you can listen to. I'm telling y'all, I listen to the most horrorcore, devil type underground shit in the world. It has not made me say, let me go take that fucking nine and go kill some niggas. It has never done it. I, I've never, I'm like, fuck your hoe with pay, pay your bill. I ain't paid a bitch bill. I'm not paying shit. It ain't my bill. When did that start? Oh, that's some player shit. That's that fucking young thug and gunner. 
Them niggas locked up. I'm gonna take up. your bitch and get a Birkin bag. Do that and these shit. same bitches that they were doing that.